Howdy mates, good morning, how are we all doing? Here's my first video that I wanted to make for today. I'm out visiting the Deer Creek State Park. And it seems like <laughs> the name is rather synonymous with the Buck Creek State Park. Seems like they can't make up their minds with which name they want to stick with. <laughs> yeah, so where we're actually standing is, well, these are kind of like tidal flats or something of the sort. Or just because since it's still technically winter, the water level is just a bit lower than what it normally is. Deer Creek actually is what runs through here. That's where the place gets its name. And as it turns out, this area also has the Army Corps of Engineers dam on the southern tip. So it's actually, in a way, very similar to that of the Buck Creek State Park. But Deer Creek State Park seems to be a lot larger in terms of acreage. Because as I read, uh, this place has over two 2,100 or so acres of land that it covers. But this park essentially is really in the heartland of Ohio's agricultural country. We're located basically in Pickaway County. And I believe the county seat for Pickaway County is Mount Sterling. So in a way, we're... We're kind of in the middle of nowhere, essentially. And, yeah, like, while I was on my drive, it was practically all agricultural country, pretty much. So it's very, in a way, it just kind of feels like it's a time capsule. Like, you go in this area, and it was probably no different back in the 30s and 40s. Yeah, this place accommodates camping and all types of recreational activities. They've got some trails. However, I kind of went off the trail because I was really curious as to what all was here. And I think these trees right ahead of me, these probably used to be eastern cottonwood, I think. I cannot, I can't really know for certain because there just isn't really enough to look at or it could even be a bald cypress for all I know but yeah I'm not really sure to be honest but this place also lies in the eastern till plains of Ohio so that means this area essentially experienced past glaciation in the past and that's why there's so many agricultural fields out here because it is so flat. However, though, the further east you go in this in the state of Ohio, the glaciers never reached that area. So that's why it is very hilly in that part of Ohio. Uh, very popular site in eastern Ohio. I've done content on the place in the past is the Hocking Hills State Park. But this seems to be one of the main features uh, in terms of state parks in this part of Ohio. So I'm curious just to see what more I will stumble upon. So all right. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something. It may provide a link or something so that you guys can read a bit more up on the history for those of you who have not been here before. It's all right. Hope all of you enjoy your Saturday and Journey on a Journey is out. Take care, folks.